Hey, what's up, everybody? Bless up. This is This Day in History, February 22nd. In 1819, Spanish Minister Lord Don Luis de Onis and U.S. Secretary of State John Quincy Adams signed the Eunice Adams Deal, a deal in which Spain agrees to sell its territory in East Florida. The treaty was ratified two years later. In 1856, the first Republican Party National Convention takes place in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, about two years after its founding, largely built of anti-slavery former Whig Party members. In 1889, the Enabling Act is signed by Congress and President Cleveland, admitting Montana, Washington, and the Dakotas into the Union, and splitting Dakota into North and South. In 1912, French pilot Jules Virginis becomes the first to break the 100 mile per hour mark in an airplane in a Depredestin racer in France. In 1958, Egypt and Syria unite to form the UAR, United Arab Republic, a union that lasted only about three years when Syria seceded from the Union. In 1969, Barbara Jo Rubin becomes the first female jockey to win a professional horse race against men in Charlestown, West Virginia. And in 1980, called the miracle on ice, the U.S. men's national hockey team beats the Soviet Union national team 4-3 at the Winter Olympics in Lake Placid, New York, becoming one of the biggest sports upsets in history. And this has been This Day in History. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, have a good weekend, and bless up.